Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting, so let's get started. We'll start off today with a small amount of blue, a two inch brush, just tap it. And we'll come up here to the corners and just paint in a nice little sky. I think we're going to have some big old clouds in this painting, so we're not going to be too worried about this blue part. Now with the one inch brush and a little bit of white, we can tap in some nice little clouds. Now with a clean brush, we can come in here and just do tiny circles to blend out the bottom of the cloud. Just tiny, tiny circles, and then we'll lift up and fluff it and blend it out. And then we'll go across. Same over here on this side. Now with some brown and blue and a little bit of black on the knife, we can come over here and we'll just pull right down. Pull down and kind of shape like a big old cliff back here. Now when you're done with that, you can take a brush and just pull it out. Just grab it and pull it. Now with a little brown and white and blue, we can come over here and just put a tiny, tiny little bit of highlight on this melon. Just a little. This is going to be far, far back. We'll have another closer one right in front of it. We just want a little bit of detail here. Now with a little blue and black on the knife, we can drop in a nice little shadow area. Just right up here. Tiny, tiny little bit of paint. Really, not much paint here. Just a little. Now with a clean brush, we can tap out the bottom. Just like that. Kind of create some mist. And then we'll lift up. Now with some brown and black, we can drop in another little mountain right here. Just block it in, just like we did before. Now with the clean brush, we can just pull that mountain out too. Same thing as we did to that one and then kind of make it look nice and misty at the bottom. Now with some brown and white on the knife, we can put a little bit of highlight on this mountain too. Just no pressure with the knife, and you'll get all these holes. Just let the knife run right down. Now with some black and brown on the knife, we can add just a little bit of shadow right over here. Just like that. Just pulling and letting the paint break. Now with a clean brush, we can come in here and just tap. Lightly tap. And then lift up to create some mist. Now with the one inch brush and a little bit of white, we can come in here and just tap and we'll get nice little misty areas back in here, just by tapping. Now with the two inch brush and a little bit of blue and black, we can come over here and just do this to kind of underpaint a nice little stream. Now with the two inch brush and some good dark color, we can come over here and just tap and create some land in here like that. Now with the fan brush and some good light green. We can come over here and just tap. Tap down with the fan brush. Create some nice little background trees or something. A lot of little things that are just growing back here. And you can even do a couple with a little bit more detail.
Now when you're done with your background trees, you can darken up the color a little bit and then throw a couple of big pine trees in, just like that. No different. We're just still tapping with the corner of the brush. Now when you're done with that side, you can jump over to the other side and give that side some trees. Just like that. Now with the 2 inch brush and a little bit of yellow and green, we can come over here and just drop on a little bit of highlight to this grass. Just a little. Kind of sparkle it up. Now when you're done with the left side, you can jump right over here to the right side and just do the same thing. Just tap. Now with the fan brush and some white and a little bit of blue, we can come right over here and just make a little waterfall, tiny little one, right there. Now when you're done with that, you can come along just like this and kind of paint some ripples. Now with a little bit of brown on the knife, we can drop in a couple little rocks. Kind of hold that waterfall back. Just like that. Tiny little bit. Now with a little bit of brown and white, we can drop a tiny little bit of highlight on that. And a little on this one. Now with the one inch brush, and a little bit of white, we can just add a little tiny splash at the bottom, right there. Now back to some dark brown, and we can add a couple of little rocks, kind of right here by the bank. And maybe a couple on this side too. Then with a little bit of brown and white, we'll just add a highlight to them. Now back to the brush that had the grass highlight on it. And we can kind of clean up the bottom of these rocks. Just drop a little bit of grass around them. And maybe even a little over the water too. Kind of push that back. Now with the knife and a little bit of brown and white, we can drop a tiny tree trunk in some of these trees. We don't need a lot. Now with the fan brush and a little bit of yellow, we can drop on a tiny little bit of highlight to some of these trees. Now back to the 2 inch brush and a little bit of light color. This is a yellow and green, but I added a little bit of white to kind of lighten it up even more. And we can add a little extra highlight right out on the top of the grass. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my DVD for sale. I'll put the link below. And also, if you have Facebook, look me up on Facebook. I'll put that link below too. And thanks for watching.